Don't be peer pressured or bullied into not liking something you really like. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am filming the rest of my Sephora haul. I know this is so late, but you know, sometimes life and I've been really busy. I haven't had a lot of time to film. And then when I have had time, I've honestly just been tired. So I don't want to come on here and give y'all some bad energy and just feeling like, why is she even filming right now? So here we are. Um, yeah, today is May 19th. So yeah, sale has been over, but it's all right because these products have been sitting in the bag and I don't even, I might've tried them just cause I wanted to make sure I didn't need to bring them back. But this is what we have left. Some of the other items I will tell you about from my online orders because they were shipped to Texas and I don't have them with me. But before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do lots of hauls, lots of makeup videos. I do hair, nails, fitness, and everything related to beauty. So if you're into that, you're gonna love this channel. If you wanna see the last of the items that I picked up in my Sephora haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so before we get into it, I'm gonna tell you guys what I have on because you'll ask and I always forget. On my lips, I have the Melt Cosmetics Caffeine Lip Pencil and then one of the products that I'm gonna show you today. This is the Huda Beauty Bossy Browns Power Bullet Cream Glow Cream Lipstick. This one is in the shade Moneymaker. I also picked up Boss Chick. Moneymaker is a little bit lighter. I guess I can show you the differences in them real quick. I really wanted Moneymaker and they didn't have it in stock. And so I was just like, okay, well, I know I'm gonna order it. But then I swatched Boss Chick and I was like, mm, kind of like that one too. And I really like the formula of these. It is really creamy. It looks like I have a gloss on right now, but I don't. So yeah, you can even see the bullets have different coloring a little bit. So these are the two shades right here. So this one is, oh wait, what? Yeah, they look very similar. <laughs> I'm gonna have to swatch these. So this is Boss Chick, this is Money Maker. I feel like you can tell they look different. Where did Barbara just play herself? Okay, they look different enough. <laughs> I hope you can see the difference in that. This one is, see the fact that I can't even tell Moneymaker, which is the one I wanted originally. It's a tad bit lighter. That glow is kind of messing up me being able to show you the color. And then this one is the more browny kind of red. But they're both nude, super gorgeous, and I couldn't decide between the two that I wanted, so I got them both. Up next, I picked up a skincare item. I think this was the only skincare thing I got. I don't remember what I had in my other haul, but I think. This is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This has gotten so many rave reviews. I have tried this before, but when I tried it, it was when I had really bad acne that turned out to be just hormonal cystic acne and this just couldn't do it. Nothing did anything for it except for Accutane. So I have found that every now and then I get a little bit of texture around this area here. I have a bump that's healing right here. I have one here. So it's just little stuff that I feel like having something like this can help clear up really quickly. So I decided to pick it up during the sale. Oh no, we do have another skincare item. So this I picked up, it was sale on sale. This is the Kiehl's Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. I had another retinol product that I ran out of right when the sale was going on. So that's why I picked this one up. I went through my collection first and all my skincare and I didn't have another retinol. So this was actually something I needed. And this one, I don't remember what the original price of it was, but y'all know skincare, good skincare is expensive. And this was rated pretty well, so thought it would be good to try. So this will be coming upstairs right now for me to have in my daily regimen. 
I guess I could go ahead and open it and show y'all what it looks like. I haven't even taken this out the bottle. I like that it has this purple in it. I do know with some skincare products, it's better if they are in a darker bottle because it helps them keep their potency longer. So that's probably why they have this glass bottle, but the inside is purple. I don't know if that's the, let's just look. Sorry to say, I don't know if that's the color of the product. I would know. So the product is this clear right here. Yeah, so they have it in a colored bottle just to make sure that the product is able to stay efficient and as strong as it needs to. But I probably shouldn't rub this on my tattoo, but it's okay. Doesn't have a strong smell. So yeah, looking forward to trying that out. This is a little random. This is a nail polish set that was also in the sale items. This is the Nails Ink London Sparkle Like a Unicorn set. So I hope you guys can see how pretty that is. They have this iridescent shade here and then this kind of multi-chrome rose gold bronze shade. I don't paint my nails a lot just because they're so short and brittle, but I picked this up because I plan on doing nail tips and so sometimes you want to paint your nails. I do also do my own pedicures. So I think this is really pretty. I just hope I probably, I'm not going to try them on because I have press ones right now, but I'm hoping that these are actually thick enough and opaque enough to show versus being, I'm going to open it and see, because this had good reviews. Ooh, this kind of has some pink in it. You can kind of see pink and Y'all know me and my shifty stuff. Let's see. Well, that might be thick enough. Okay. So, I don't know. That'll probably be on my toes. Or maybe I'll take my time and do my nails this weekend. Because my press-ons have about had it. I picked up a product that low-key panicked. <laughs> Panic made me buy this. So, this is the, the Nessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. This is her kind of primer foundation situation she has going on. I picked mine up in the shade nine. This is my third of this product. Now I have this one and I panicked because I hit pan and I was like, since when do you use something that much? But apparently I do. I have been using this as just a light coverage going to the gym and want to even out my skin tone. I use it as a primer for a foundation that's too light or I use it to go over a foundation that's too light as a foundation. I also have the universal shade, which I'm wearing today underneath my foundation. I've been using this a lot. So I picked up this one in the shade nine because it is a good color match while my skin tone is a little darker. But I also have the one from Tarte that's the universal shade. So I didn't need another one of those. But this, baby mama has been going ham. I didn't even realize. Y'all know what this looks like, but I'm going to go ahead and open it. I have thrown this little spoon thing away. I don't even know what that's for. Like, maybe if you had a kit and you were trying to do somebody's makeup, like, this shade normally is too dark for me, but right now it's kind of getting close to being too dark, but I've been making it work. So, absolutely love this. This is probably going to be in my yearly favorites. I can tell you that right now. Mel Cosmetics also had some products on sale. So, I picked up their Cream Blush Light in the shade Polished. I did try this on and it's more of like a rose, mm, maybe it's a glowy blush. No, I got too much blush. <laughs> I got too much blush on today, but it does have a little bit of a glow to it. And it is kind of like a peachy shade, which I thought was really pretty. And it does show up well on my skin, but it does have a glow, as you can see there. And I just thought it was pretty. It's not as pink as like that Dior and everybody's doing that hot baby pink kind of shade. It's not that, but this feels good for me. And I love it was 30 percent off and then the sale price. So that definitely made it worth it. Next, I picked up a face powder. So I showed you guys that I picked up the NARS soft matte powder. And then I wasn't sure which shade I wanted. And then I saw Lawless came out with a powder. So I was like, let me get the Lawless powder in one shade and then I'll get the NARS in another. Makes sense, right? So I picked this up. This is their Perfecting Powder, Skin Smoothing Powder. And I picked up the shade Tan Deep. This is what the packaging looks like. Kind of giving me 
Patrick Ta vibes a little bit. And then this is the powder right here. You can see I did swatch it. And actually, I want to put some on. Um, I do kind of feel like my contour is a little harsh. Ooh, this is really powdery. I just dip my brush in it and there's stuff everywhere. Is this gonna be lighter or darker? I can't really tell. I feel like it kind of helped tone down the lightness a little bit, which is what I wanted. Something that could be, I don't know. Ooh, cheekbones today. Okay, let's get back to business, sorry. Anyway, so let me see if I can swatch this. I feel like I noticed when I swatch these powders, they always look super gray on me. So that is what that looks like. So you can see, it just really looks blurred. That's built up on my hand, but it is so soft and smoothing and just, it looks like I just put highlighter on my hand and I didn't. But yeah, so that's what I did with that. And then I got the NARS powder in a darker shade. I picked up some other lip colors. I did a lot of shopping of the Sephora collection items. I don't know what it was this time around with the sale, but that 30% hit different. And I think also visiting my collection and trying their products again reminded me of how good they are. So I picked up some lips and the first one is their cream lip stain and I got this in shade number 75 warm nude I went in the store and was swatching and that's what made me buy this made me right you know so this is what it looks like it is a very light nude shade I'll probably put a little bit on right now I'm gonna swatch it first because it's probably gonna get lost so that is what it looks like I love the form can you see that <laughs> I love the formula of these. It is a very light nude. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Oh, yeah. It just gives that light little pop. Ooh, that is pretty. It's funny because I just posted a haul where I bought or edited. Did I post it? I think I did where I was buying a bunch of reds. Haven't worn those because I always gravitate towards a nude. But you know, I want my collection to feel complete. So that's that. I also picked up the shade Blaze of Glory. I picked this one up in the store. Well, no, I swatched it in the store and it was sold out. And I was like, mm -mm. if I'm going to pick something, I need to have this one. This one's a little more of a warm nude, but it's still a brown. I don't want to put it on that powder. So that's that one there. So you can see clear difference in those two but I feel like that could almost be I don't know what I'm doing just helping stuff blend um maybe almost be like an everyday nude shade for me but I love the formula of these they're not too drying and they just feel really good on the lips but they have good staying power I picked up another lippy. These next three, four, <laughs> four, yeah, four products I splurged. I bought some high-end stuff. And I normally, I feel like I haven't really been doing that. Like I just kind of buy what I think I'm going to like versus trying to buy certain brands. I picked up a Gucci blush and I don't feel bad about it. This is the luminous matte blush so this is it right here these are expensive gucci is expensive we already know that so these are one of the brands that you rarely ever get to get a sale on so i felt like i needed to have it i picked up the shade warm berry look at this packaging like if you keep stuff out on your counter for display this needs to be one of them this is so pretty so this is what it looks like right here she kind of small but I feel like this is, it says it's a berry, but to me, let me swatch it. I feel like this is kind of coming off. God, this is gorgeous. As that like burnt, it's a little berry, but it more looks like that burnt terracotta kind of bronzy shade that I love. Okay, I see more berry now. But still, that's like me every day. I just love shades like this. And I feel like you can build them up and make them really punchy, kind of like I did today. Today I'm wearing Pat McGrath. Electric Bloom, pretty sure. Um, but yeah, you can build it up and make it look really punchy or you can sheer it out. 
but you can tell that this is a matte, but it doesn't look dry. I don't know, I feel like you can kind of tell that has a glow. So that's interesting. I picked up another blush and this one is from Giorgio Armani. This one is in the shade Mania number 40. This is their Luminous Silk Glow Blush. I don't think I even pay attention to like if I have a preference for matte or glowy right now. I think I've been leaning towards doing more glowy makeup just because I'm older, my skin is normal. I don't feel like I need to have as many matte products unless I'm trying to make my makeup last longer. But this is the packaging on this, super cute. And yes, this shade right here is not quite like that pink pink. It's a deeper version of, I feel like, that very popular pink that is out right now. Yeah, and I, that's why I picked this one. So this is what it looks like right there. You see, I wiped my finger off and that's still on my hand. And then that's that shade right there. So you can, can you see that? I feel like I can't see nothing. A little bit, you can kind of see it. Let me try to build it up. Listen, I like my stuff to punch me in my face. You can kind of see it right there. So that's that kind of pinky shade that everybody loves with the Dior that I just, I can't pull the trigger to try yet. But I did see that L'Oreal is coming out with some new blushes for the Infallible line. And they have a pink one, and I'm going to try that one. I'm going to try that one and the Juvia's Place one. And maybe the patch. No, I don't need three. I'm going to try the drugstore ones in case I don't like it. Staying with some more luxury brands, I ended up picking up the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Concealer. I got this one because I love the foundation, and so I was just like, I need to try this concealer too. I had a lot of trouble finding my shade. This is going to be a little bright, but I think it's going to be okay. This is in N385. When I tell y'all I drove all over the place trying to find where in Atlanta they had this so that I could swatch it in the store because I didn't want to get, yeah, that's a good shade. I didn't want to get the wrong shade. That is not too bright. So I feel like I'll be able to wear that pretty regularly and get some good use out of it. Yeah, that's a good shade. So it says it's a neutral. I really like the undertone of that and I think it is going to be really pretty. I've heard good things about it. So... Concealer is one of my favorite things to try. I feel like my under eyes did really, really good today. Like my makeup played well. I should have filmed it, but I didn't because I was rushing. But I used my Danessa Myricks blurring in blurring balm in Universal. And then I used my LYS foundation, which I have not used that in a really long time. And then what did I use for powder? Under my eyes, I used my I always use Nakia Joy that powder. And then, yeah, like, I don't know. I just feel like everything looks good today. I'm happy about it. Let's keep going. Last high end, unless there's more stuff online that I'll tell you about at the end. This is the, no, there's not. I wanted all my high, <laughs> I wanted all my high end stuff here. This is the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Transfer Proof Matte Liquid Lipstick from Dior. This is in the shade number 200 Forever Nude Touch, I think is the name of it. Y'all, look at this packaging. This was literally just me being bougie because I went to a store that had this out and I was able to swatch it and I was just like, I want to try that. This is the shade right here, which I think would be like a pretty good everyday wearable shade. It's a little on the pink side, but if I mix it with a brown liner, it's gonna be okay. I love the packaging on these. This is a matte frosted bottle, which I like. And like I said, I wanted to get something that I felt like I was going to wear pretty regularly and not just something, some color that was going to sit because I only wear it with certain looks or special occasions. So that is why I chose that one. And I think she's cute. I probably could. Do we want to put, I'm going to leave my lips the way they are, but I will do a get ready with me trying these in a video soon. Next, I picked up, okay, this was just a, I'm walking around and I saw it and I was like, what is that? So this is the Iconic London Kissed by the Sun Multi-Use Cheek Glow. I have a blurring primer from them. I also bought one of their sculpting stacks and I ended up not liking it and I think I gave it to a friend. 
not sure I'm pretty sure I did um but I swatched this and I didn't want to get just a normal shade love this packaging I didn't want to get just a normal highlighter shade because I have a million of those this I don't think I can explain like I don't even think you guys can really see the magic of this and I hope swatching it will do it this is so soft it's almost like the oh this color it's almost like the you can see this left the indent is it a powder gloss powder yeah this feels like nothing I have in my collection where do I want to swatch this put her up here like just oh, that is so pretty I feel like it could be a blush topper I feel like I could also wear it as a highlighter almost like a rose gold but it's deep I don't know I just felt like there was something about this color that really spoke to me let's see is this my highlighter brush I wonder if you got to use a special brush with this oh no brush is digging in it I don't know if that's even doing anything. I can't tell. Maybe a little bit. I should put it somewhere I don't. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, we don't put glow on our forehead. But yeah, I don't know. I need to put this on by itself. But just this shade, and it kind of, it's not a duo chrome, but I don't know. It just did something to me when I swatched it in the store. And so I had to put it in my basket. This next product, I didn't need it. I got talked into it watching everybody's hauls. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I got it in vanilla beige. And then I was like, Barbara, you have that, what is it called? Pawpaw um, lip balm that you got from Marshalls or something that is literally like a dark brown kind of gloss balm kind of situation. And then you turn around and get this, which is the same thing. Forever our problem when we are lovers of makeup, right? So this is just a lip butter balm. It does not have any kind of SPF or anything like that, but it is a nice, I'm gonna try to see if y'all can see the color, yeah. That's the color of it right there. It's like a nice neutral kind of brown shade. You did not just put that that low on your lip. You literally just messed up your lip liner. Girl, what is wrong with you? Yeah, like that blends in with that, but I just felt like it was a really pretty shade and I feel like it could be something that I throw in my bag and I can put this on without even needing to think about what it's going to match with and it's going to be great. So very similar probably to that other lip balm I have, but it's fine because I don't live, leave the house without putting something on my lips. I just, I used to not like my lips and I wanted them to be small and now I'm like, baby, plump them up, make them shine, make them pop, be proud of them. So always putting something glossy or something to make them stand out. I picked up this product because it was on sale, sale on sale, and they're already inexpensive. This is the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Pencil and Gel. I picked this up in the shade Deep Brown. I think these were on sale for like $11. And I thought this would be great to put in my travel bag because it is a two-in-one product. I love that it has that bigger tip on the tri that triangle tip instead of the normal, some people love the little pencil tip. That is not me. That is a great shade. And then it also has, I don't know if the gel is colored or not. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's dark. No, we're not doing that today, but it also has a brow gel and that is a dark colored gel. So this is definitely going to go in my travel bag but man now I kind of wish I would have picked up more than one they sold out during the sale though so I'm glad I was able to at least get one of them okay so for the stuff we have here we're gonna finish with fragrance and then I'm gonna read through the other stuff that I picked up so I bought one of the fragrance kits that they had and could not decide I bought it for this one I almost talked myself out of it and then I was like girl just get what you came here to get I love Versace fragrances. I have Dylan Blue, Dylan Turquoise. Is that the only two I have? I think so. I don't know. Anyway, so this is the Dylan Purple. And I remember the salesperson at the store tried to talk me out of it because they were like, oh, it's just okay. But I sprayed it and I liked it. So why was I about to let you talk me out of something that I decided I liked? Like, who does that? 
Don't be peer pressured or bullied into not liking something you really like. So this is what the packaging looks like. If y'all know, if you don't know, my favorite color is purple and I don't have anything on right now. So I'm about to spray this. My favorite color is purple. And so that already helped this be a front runner because it's going to look gorgeous on my vanity. I'm not going to say like it doesn't smell like, oh, my God, this smells so different from anything else I have. But it smells good. And I knew it smelled good. So I'm glad I picked this up. So I paid, what did I pay for that kit? $80? I don't remember. But the regular price of this was more than that. So I don't feel bad about it. Because I got 20% off the price of the kit and then got this big old bottle. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce. So happy I got that. This last one, I said I wasn't buying it. I said I wasn't buying it. I smelled it in the store. And I was like, since when do you like stuff like that? And then I went to buy it and it was sold out. And the guy was like, let me see if we have a rollerball one. And they did. So I was like, you know what? That's good. You have enough fragrances. Get a little travel size one and you'll be fine. I think I'm halfway through that bottle. And I was like, oh, let me get the big one. I This is my first K. Ali perfume. And... This is the Yum Pistachio Gelato. I don't have anything pistachio, marshmallow, gelato. Like, that is not normally my vibe. But this, I don't know what it is. It smells so good and it lasts so long. I, I had been spraying this so much to the point where I was like, I don't want to run out. So let's just go ahead and get that big one. And then you can refill the little one and put it in your purse and have both. It smells that good that I want to keep it on me as a travel one. So that should tell you a lot. It says the notes in here are pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy. I do not have anything in my collection that has notes that sound this sweet. I might have something that might have a hint of marshmallow in it or a little bit gourmand, but not all this. So this is completely different. And that's why I didn't feel bad about picking it up. So, going through my orders, I could tell you something I picked up and I brought it back. I, did I show it? I might have showed it. I don't even know. The Shark Flex Style Hair Blow Dryer Multi Styler. $350. I got it in. I tried it and I was like, I'm already aggravated at how long this is taking. And it's just, it's too expensive for me to probably not use it that much because it's going to take too long. So, yeah, no. Brought that one back. I also picked up the, there's some Melt stuff that I had. Here we go. So I picked up the Melt Cosmetics Monarch, Monarca blush palette. Yeah, Amor e Mariposa's collection. That was on sale for $28.50 and then the 20% off. And I heard good things about it. I never saw it in person, I don't think. Did I see it in the store? I don't remember, but... I love Melt Cosmetics, and I know a lot of people say it's hit and miss. I haven't had misses. I don't tend to buy everything, though. I buy the stuff that really speaks to me, but I'm trying to rebuild my connection. Listen, I know I don't need to. Don't judge me. Don't talk about me. <laughs> I go back and forth to Houston a lot, and I want to have options when I get there, and I want to be able to have some high-end options versus just buying drugstore stuff or trying to travel and my makeup get broken. So it is what it is. This is why I have two jobs to buy the makeup that I want. So I picked that up. I also picked up another of the Briogeo Destined for Thick, Destined for Density Thick and Full Hair Care Value Set. This was $135. I have one here and I had one shipped there for when I wash my hair and do all my stuff there. I also picked up the Melt Cosmetics Rust Palette. I did not have that palette. And I remember when it first came out, I wanted it and then I never picked it up. And I don't know if it, I don't know what the deal is. I never bought it before, but it was on sale during the sale. So I bought that. I did get a backup. There we go, Barbara, of the Rare Beauty Brow Pencil, same color, and had that shipped out there. I also got the Fenty Beauty Plush Pudding Lip Recovery Mask. I had been wanting to try that and it was out of stock for a while and then it came back during the sale. So I had that shipped there. I have plenty here. Even though I'm dying to try it, I'll just have to try it when I get out there. I also picked up the Sephora Collection Golden Hour Liquid Highlighter. 
I did not have a liquid highlighter there, so, you know, options. And then I picked up a mini of the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse set if, Setting Spray. I have the Sephora Collection Setting Spray there, and so I wanted something that was a little more mattifying, a little more heavy duty, and so I decided to try that one. And then I also picked up the Sephora Collection Feeling Groovy Mini Eye Brush Set. I do not have a brush set out there. So I have my travel bag with my brushes that I travel with. But for the price of these, I know Sephora has really good brushes. So I figured this is a mini set. I can have it there and it wasn't super expensive. So that is it. I feel like I know I did some damage, but I also brought some stuff back. I was not just shopping to try stuff to build up my collection. My collection is big enough. I got some stuff, I tried it. If I didn't like it or like immediately feel like it gave me feels, it went back. My collection is too big to hoard. We're not doing that. I am still working on decluttering update. I will be moving again soon. I know y'all probably think I'm crazy and I am, it's okay. But I have decided to put some roots down in Georgia and I'm gonna stay so I'm in the process of looking at houses and yeah, so within the next few months, I'm probably gonna batch film, so I'll do an update, maybe do a home tour, all that stuff, I don't know, but y'all gonna see another background, it, just letting you know it's coming. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, let me know, did you shop the sale? Did you return some stuff? And don't feel bad about it because they make enough money off of us as it is. Let me know what favorite products you want to see out of what I hauled. And if you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. I will see you in my next video. Bye.